Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry, we're just trying to get the, uh, the venue set up. And when I walk in, I have to tell you, as crazy as March Madness has been, and I want you to think about this. It is March 20th, and we are having our fourth nor'easter of the month. Divide that every fifth day. We are deciding what we're doing with school. There's been upheaval all over. Sometimes I'm not sure what day it is. So this walking in was very calming because this has been one of the most wonderful events that I have attended. I have been fortunate to have attended two. This is our third this year. And I want to tell you, this was born many years ago. Uh, I was a teacher at East Middle School, loved my assignment there for probably about 10 years. And one thing that the principal did every year, and this was Dave Swift at East Junior High, those of you that might remember the name, was give out a Red Apple Award for that teacher that went above and beyond. And I can tell you it motivated me all year long. Not that many of you need motivation. I know who you are when I read through the wonderful things that you do. But for us as a district and, and a community, it is wonderful to be able to recognize exceptional work for the children and families of the Brockton Public Schools. And I also have to comment when I look out, not only at our recipients, but I see young children and I see families, mothers, fathers of our adult teachers coming to see what a wonderful occasion this is. It is really heartwarming that you're here to support you know, your family members or your colleagues. So thank you to all of you. And thank you to our principals and their leadership teams and those teachers that nominate and are able to talk about the wonderful things that our teachers and our staff are doing in the Brockton Public Schools. I also want to thank uh, Lauren Young, who is a senior here at Brockton High School, who is uh, doing a little bit of our entertainment. And afterwards, we invite you to have some snacks. Lauren, you will entertain us. And I thank you for being here this evening, honey. So without further ado, I'd first like to, uh, with our Red Apple nominations, I would like to recognize uh, from the Adult Learning St Center, Joan Bernstein. Joan, come on up. Okay. So I'd like the recipient, I'm going to embarrass you because I know you don't want to stand here while we are reading wonderful things about you. So Joan. Joan Bernstein works tirelessly to mitigate barriers in the lives of students at the Adult Learning Center. She spends hours filling out applications and holding mock interviews for students working towards U.S. citizenship, then photographs and proudly displays portraits of our new U.S. citizens. Joan goes above and beyond her expected scope of duty by scheduling presentations from police officers, firefighters, attorneys, Zumba instructors, hospital staff, financial aid specialists, parenting experts, banking, housing officials, and many more because she understands how much a calm home environment makes a difference in a student's education. Through kind and compassionate, oh excuse me, though kind and compassionate, Joan is a no-nonsense educator who holds students to high standards. Many students' success stories at the Adult Learning Center can be attributed to Joan, making them believe they can attain the highest expectations. Joan's dedication to the team and its mission is inspiring. Her passion as an educator motivates everyone who works with her. Empowering students to achieve their education and career goals is what Joan does best. Please join me in congratulating Joan. Do we have pictures? We have cable. Right. And, oh, there's Michelle. Oh, good. I wanna, do you mind if I open this so I can actually oh, sh show people? This is with you. Have one right oh, I do. I do. Then I won't open. I'm going to well, give you okay. <laughs> okay. So this, again, is our Marble Red Apple Award for the teachers and the staff members you will hear about this evening. Very, very heavy. Very, very nice. So congratulations. Thank you very much, and congratulations to, to Jones Green. <laughs> At the Angelo School, can I have Manuela Santos? <laughs> Manuela? Manuela is the school's Portuguese community liaison, and it's you can count on me kind of person. She is always willing to help anyone at any time. If a teacher needs someone to translate, she's right there. For a parent who has fallen on tough times, she will find a way to get what is needed, which may mean digging into deep community connections or her own pocket in support of a child. 
When helping to get a child a pair of eyeglasses, she realized mom needed some too, and in her own words, what's good if mom can't see? She felt compelled to help. Manuela is a kind person. She is loved by the entire school. One staff member proposed having a Manuela Santos Day in honor of all she does for the Angelo School community. A red apple is a small way to honor a woman, small in stature and enormous in heart. Thank you. So this is <laughs> Karina Trout Savino from the R Known School. Savino? <laughs> so as a teacher of students with visual impairment, Katrina spends considerable time thinking, planning, and strategizing over each student on her caseload as well as all of the students that need vision support. She works on appropriate lesson plans, of course, but what Katrina is thinking and strategizing about is how each student can be the best version of themselves, not only academically, but in all aspects of life. An example is working with the New England Adaptive Sports to find out ways to get our visually impaired students involved in mainstream sports and activities so they feel equal to their sighted peers and can gain the confidence they need to succeed in school and life. Katrina will meet with parents, coaches, and people in the community to advocate for the needs of her students. She goes to eye doctor's appointments with many of our families to help them understand the medical jargon and complicated diagnoses that affect their children. Katrina has built relationships with her students and their parents that facilitate trust and allow the students to grow and flourish. Katrina truly puts the academic, social, and emotional needs of her students first every time. Katrina loves her job, and it shows in every student on her caseload. When you leave, please remember to get your bag of goodies. So those people that were already up here will make sure we have your bags, but please grab your bag when you go. Thanks. Next is Ashfield and Linda Hines. Haines, Linda Haynes. Linda Haynes is the Ashfield health teacher who has worked to make the grab-and-go breakfast a success, one of my favorite programs, serving over 400 meals every day. She takes it on herself to greet every bus and car in the morning, says hello to each student and parent, as the playground is her only assigned duty. She gives up her personal time to manage groups of students who feel disenfranchised from the rest of the school. She created and manages our girls' leadership group, and has won awards and recognition, including from Governor Baker. She gives up her lunch to eat with students who are having a tough time making friends and gradually introduces them to others while building their confidence. She takes students every Monday during makeup work time that would normally disrupt the silent homework space and gets them to be productive. She runs the after school healthy eating group, is on steering committees, manages the bake sales, and is present for all student events. Please join me in congratulating. is the Baker School, Emily Cooley. I see big smiles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Emily is a special education teacher in a sub-separate classroom at the Baker School who truly cares about her students and works tirelessly, tirelessly to meet their academic and emotional needs. 
She is a sounding board, advice giver, and friend to all educators she works with. Emily is an integral part of our PBIS committee. Bring them up. Bring them up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now we know about multitasking. <laughs> Uh, is a, an integral part of our PBIS committee and can often be found checking in with students around the building, even if the student is not in her classroom. She is also our go-to expert for all things baseline edge related and quite frequently offers her time after school to assist her colleagues. In addition to being a phenomenal teacher, Emily is a married mother of three young children, one of whom is struggling with some health issues. Despite the demands of her home life, Emily puts in 110% every day at the baker. Emily is kind, thoughtful, and professional, and we are lucky to have her. I think you need to join us. And the Barrett Russell School is Bridget Driscoll here. I think she is here. Okay. Bridget. Bridget Driscoll is a wonderful teacher who consistently gives of her time and expertise. She is currently piloting a preschool engineering program for the Museum of Science, teaching the lessons and providing feedback. She has added her own visuals and enrichment activities and shared them with the committee. She also provided valuable information to the Brockton Public School Preschool Task Force about the pros and cons of the preschool curriculum she incorporates into her very own classroom. She will soon be piloting a preschool version of Foundations and reporting back to the ELA coordinator. Bridget is a gifted educator. She enhances students' learning experiences and is always willing to share her ideas and resources with her colleagues. Can everyone hear that theme? She is a wonderful inspiration to others. She mentors student teachers. She welcomes parents and to share in their children's learning. And we are fortunate to have a teacher of her caliber in our school system. I couldn't agree more. And next, I think this person needs no introduction, but I would like our music director and longtime yeah, person. Yeah, I need no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Macrina, Vinnie Macrina, everyone. So I'll tell you why this is really special to me, because he's actually been here longer than I have. <laughs> so this, to me, is the achievement. Vincent Macrina, director of the Music K-12, has dedicated 45 years to the students of Brockton. <laughs> Impacting countless lives along the way. All one needs to do is look at the trophy case in the Fine Arts Building to see Mr. Macrina's influence on students from all over our city, who I will add, some of them are now practicing all over the world. But the best way to experience his legacy is by attending any musical event that he is conducting. The sound and musicality that he brings forth from high school students is amazing. Vinnie leads students and teachers alike with dedication and example. Vinnie has been a constant advocate for the profession, helping others to understand the importance of music and the lives of those we serve. He has hired many talented and dedicated music professionals who share his enthusiasm for educating Brockton students. He supports our school community and local organizations with his generous gift of time and talents. He goes above and beyond to share his love of music and education with his students, and his music brings Brockton together always as a community. Congratulations, Jimmy.
to tell you that you heard again, he's been here 45 years. <laughs> Back when I was a very young educator, I had the fortune of being the cheerleading advisor for Brockton High. And Mr. Macrina was miserable to me. <laughs> Not true, I love cheerleaders. Yes, believe me. But you can see, you can see we developed a, a collegial relationship. <laughs> I was right, she was wrong. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. And from the Brookfield School, Sue Cole. Yes, Sue. Sue, you might as well bring them up. <laughs> oh. Okay, and as a, as a mother, you know when they finally get you home, they're not letting you go. You've spent the day at work, and he's not letting you go. <laughs> How beautiful. Sue Cole, a school adjustment counselor at the Brookfield School, has an overflowing caseload, yet she always seems to get the job done. She sets families up with outside counseling, recommends other support agencies for families in crisis. It is not uncommon for Sue to give up her time to help others be it students or staff. Her lunch and personal time is frequently interrupted or canceled because of the needs of the building. She helps organize holiday blessing bags for students and their families, acts as the school's community outreach person, and organizes and runs family engagement activities along with holiday food, coat drives for children in need, and on and on it goes. Sue does it all and is an asset to the Brookfield School. Please join me in congratulating Sue Cole. So now I'm telling you my life story, that back when I was a very young girl, her aunt was my dear friend from the time we were six years old on, and I am so proud Carol is a former teacher, Carol Green Cole in the audience there. <laughs> so we're so proud when you send us your very best. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks, much. Honey. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll take them. You have no idea. <laughs> So, uh, Central Administration Technology, James Lofton. James, please join me. So, everyone knows when James arrives, it gets fixed. <laughs> we can tell what technology does here. So, James joined the Brockton Public Schools in 2014 and quickly established himself as one of the go-to technicians out in the schools. He was promoted to senior technician and now coordinates the day-to-day -day operations of other technicians. He is often coming in early, being one of the last to leave at night. His hard work, dedication, and professionalism shines through with a smile each and every day. It's people like James who have allowed Brockton to continually perform at a high level, even in the face of such devastating budget cuts and staff reductions, James is always there. So please join me in congratulating you. Thank you. Congratulations, James. And from the Davis School, Doreen Pinkham. Doreen. Doreen Pinkham is a longtime mathematics teacher at the Davis School who helped grow the school from sixth to eighth grades by, mu by moving each year for three years. She is heavily involved in the school community as advisor of the student council, author and instructor for the girls' group elective, the point person for vertical articulation and math for the school, and the superintendent's parent engagement liaison for programs happening at the Davis. She participates in all activities, initiating the activities at the Davis, and participates in the committee meetings held by the superintendent for this purpose. Doreen is always committed to the success of every student at the Davis and is a highly respected member of the faculty and staff. Congratulations. Thank 
you very much. And the Downey School, Joanne Folan, is not here this evening, is that correct? But congratulations to Joanne. And um, I do want to say, Joanne, again, has been a longtime employee in the Brockton Public Schools, and we will make sure that we have an opportunity to congratulate her. But please give her a round of applause. <laughs> Next is from East Middle School, Melissa Montero Popolo. Melissa is a school adjustment counselor at East Middle School and is a valued and esteemed colleague among her peers. She provides assistance and encouragement to a diverse group of students at the most challenging, confusing, and awkward time of their lives. Born and raised in Brockton by immigrant parents from Cape Verde, Melissa was voted most likely to succeed at Brockton High School and earned her master's degree from Boston College. She uses her personal experience and bilingual skills to assist our bilingual students and their families as they become acclimated to a new way of life. A staunch advocate for the civil and legal rights of her students, Melissa has stayed at work many days, along after she is required to, to coordinate with social workers, district attorneys, and therapists to ensure her students are getting the services they need and deserve. Melissa not only possesses the warmth and compassion required of a school counselor, but she is also blessed with a fierce intelligence and drive, tireless in her efforts to bring aid and assistance to low-income families by organizing charitable events throughout the year. Because of Melissa, many students had a brighter holiday season this year when they otherwise would not have. Melissa assists the school nurse with the challenge of working with non-English speaking children and parents by facilitating a trust, assisting with students' health care needs, and even taking trips to the emergency room with injured students, waiting for hours with them, providing comfort and stability until a parent could arrive. Melissa is a role model for the students of Brockton Public Schools and an example of great work in our district. Please join me in congratulating you. Those of you out there, we are always so proud of the Grow Your Own model. So we are always so pleased when one of our Brockton High School graduates comes back and works in our workforce. It means so much. Thank you. And next I have from the George School, Michelle Holmes. Michelle? Michelle's not here this evening. So again, uh, Michelle is uh, a teacher in our Spanish SEI program. She's been a longtime Brockton Public School teacher. And again, we will uh, make sure that she receives her red apple. Congratulations. And now from the Gilmore School, Jerusa Santos. Jerusa? Jerusa Santos is the Gilmore School Library, Library paraprofessional. She has worked with the students of the Huntington and Gilmore for three years. She works in the Smart Start Extended Day program and supports all parents and community engagement activities at the school. Her warm, welcoming smile greets families and faculty each morning. You can hear her chanting, Bon dia, as early as 6.45 a.m. Her enthusiasm for life, learning, and supporting our students is infectious. Although reluctant in September to take on the role of the library para, she has surpassed expectation of her daily lessons. They are differentiated, incorporate the goals of our school improvement plan by fostering a love of reading, a growth mindset, and mindfulness, and most important, turning our readers into leaders. She possesses a willingness to take on any and all responsibilities, whether it be supporting the office, supporting family events, designing signs like, here at the Gilmore we soar, and so much more. Her work at the Huntington and the encouragement of her colleagues has inspired her to matriculate in Cambridge College's Early Childhood certifi Certification Program, and we are counting down the days and she has, until she has her own classroom. 
Not to mention, she is the product and proud graduate of the Brockton Public Schools. So join me to graduate. Be waiting. <laughs> Next is Mary Beth Tooney from the Hancock School. Is Mary Beth not here this evening? Uh, Mary Beth is also um, a teacher, I believe, at the Hancock. And again, we're very pleased to have her. And we will, again, be awarding her the red apple as soon as we can. And I know we have Adrian Nicoli Roberts here from the Keith Center Champion. Adrian? And again, this is one of those times that I feel like the proud mother, as Adrian grew up in my house, was one of my daughter's very good friends and a graduate of Brockton High School. And every time I see her, I am so proud of what a wonderful teacher she is in our city. So let me tell you about Adrian. So Adrian Nicoli Roberts consistently goes above and beyond to improve the climate and to provide opportunities for the students at both Champion High School and the Frederick Douglass Academy. In addition to her annual work on the CHS yearbook, Ms. Roberts has created a school-wide newspaper called the Weekly Charger. Through the newspaper, Champion students are not only gaining experience writing, they're also building a sense of community throughout the building. Ms. Roberts has also been the driving force behind our new student-run school store. Students from the post-grad program and from Champion work together to manage and operate this business. Students can buy items with the Champion logo as well as snacks, school supplies, and holiday items. The program has provided valuable real-world experience in money management and marketing for students in the life skills and general education programs. It has also been a great way for students in the life skills program to work alongside their typically developing peers. For our students, having a yearbook, a school newspaper, and a school store makes them feel like they are going to a real school. What these activities do, in fact, provide is the opportunity to expand their learning beyond the classroom and to build a sense of belonging and acceptance throughout the school. Each one of these activities ex is, is extremely time consuming and I am very impressed and grateful that Ms. Roberts has taken on this leadership role in our building. Ms. Roberts is a dedicated teacher who cares about the students in this building, and she is well deserving of this award. Congratulations to Adrian. And next from the Kennedy School, Audra Mancini. Audra Mancini is a dedicated Kennedy School grade five teacher who always goes above and beyond for both her students and colleagues. Having 31 students can be very challenging, but Audra always finds a way to meet the needs of all her students. She spends countless nights and long hours at school preparing and evaluating to make sure she is giving every one of her students an exceptional education. She pus pushes her students to do and be the very best always. Additionally, her commitment extends as she attends most school events such as Bingo for Books and her favorite event, the Halloween Party, along with her union commitments. Audra also organizes charitable events to help the Brockton community. She loves involving her students and the Kennedy School, including Battle of the Bones to help the ASPCA. So those are for our little animal friends, correct? <laughs> Organizing raffles for the Giving Tree and a toy drive to help children receive presents for the holidays. Audra is also very supportive, again, of her colleagues. She is always finding ways to improve morale in the school. She organizes monthly breakfast for teachers and staff to socialize the holiday party, and other outside of school events. These events help the teachers and staff feel appreciated. Congratulations to Audra.
round, do I have Michelle Smith from North Middle School? Okay. Michelle. Michelle Smith has been an English teacher at North Middle School for 15 years. Her dedication to her students is outstanding. Michelle has volunteered her time to run the drama club, and she also runs the school store. She consistently goes above and beyond in the interest of every student. At the end of each term, she takes the school store students out to eat and acknowledges their time and effort with a phone call to each parent. Also, Michelle coordinates and conducts fundraisers to buy novels for the English department to use with their students. She constantly is sharing her love of reading with her students and their enthusiasm in ordering books to read is awesome. Michelle's colleagues describe her as gentle, caring, and devoted to her students. She consistently goes above and beyond in the interest of her students. She unselfishly demonstrates the qualities of the Red Apple Award. Next from the Asheville School and our nursing staff is Gail Manos. Another person I go way back with. <laughs> Asheville School nurse Gail Manos has been a Brockton Public School nurse for 31 years. She has been a registered nurse for 44 years at both the Asheville and Baker School she has been involved with her union for more than 10 years. She has a keen understanding of the health needs of her students and refers to them as my kids. She stands up for the rights and well-being of these children. She maintains a professional yet caring demeanor and is always professional when speaking with students, staff, families, and community partners. Ms. Manos possesses a tireless work ethic and always goes above and beyond the call of duty. Gail is often one of the last staff members to leave her building at the end of the school day. Her school nursing practice supports a safe health school environment which contributes to the health, wellness, and academic achievements of all her students. She is well spoken of by all of her nurse colleagues. Please join me in congratulating her. Plouffe Academy is Julie McLean. Julie. Julie McLean arrives at school full of energy and ready to prepare for her day. Her room is vibrant and immaculate. Her great sense of humor is appreciated by her team as well as her students. She engages her students with dynamic classroom presence and hands-on activities. She is willing to stay after school to help her students whenever possible. Students asked her to be an advisor for their after school club and she was happy to oblige. Without being asked, but very much appreciated. Julie Spear has many group team tasks such as field trips, scheduling for delays and half days, and the team looks to her for leadership. Julie is always there to help a sick coworker, making sure their substitute is taken care of. Colleagues are happy to be part of her team, as you can well imagine. Please join me in congratulating Julie McClendon. Congratulations. <laughs> Melissa, I hope I say this right from the Raymond School. Melissa Adiatis? Adias. <laughs> Melissa is an amazing teacher who has taken on the work with TLA and the Reader's Workshop with such a positive attitude that it has permeated throughout the Raymond School. She is hands down one of the best teachers many have ever worked with and is an inspiration every single day. She meets each of her students' needs by challenging them at their individual level and growing them from there. 
Her genuine love for her students and teaching is evident in her daily lessons and her interactions with her class. The Raymond is lucky to have such an amazing teacher. Thank you, Melissa. Yes, much easier. <laughs> And last but not least, from Self Middle School, is Jeremiah Bonham. <laughs> Jeremiah Bonham is known to go above and beyond for his colleagues and his students at Self Middle School. Recently, he has been able to provide winter jackets, backpacks, pencils, and other necessities to Self students in need. He is co-leading the SAD initiative at SELF, which is now Students Against Destructive Decisions. It had changed. Those of you might have known it as Students Against Drunk Drivers at one point. Important club. Which has been beneficial for students in a multitude of ways. Jeremiah will continue to go above and beyond because he is a real team player with a big heart. The school is thankful to have him as part of the team at SELF Middle School. Please join me in congratulating Jeremiah. As you can see, this is why I look forward to this every time we have had it, to truly listen to people supporting children, to our staff and our teachers working together to make sure that the job gets done. There was not one word in there where you heard somebody talking about a budget or a deficit or a can't-do attitude. And that is why the Brockton Public Schools will always succeed, will always overcome any obstacles and challenges that we have because of each and every one of you that is out there doing your job. That's all it takes. And what you do is you go above and beyond. So when we are out, congratulations. I will tell you, and as I get closer to coming to the end of my time in the Brockton Public Schools, I say this every time I am with children or now when I am with teachers or staff, I am the proudest superintendent in the nation. I love the work that I do because of what you do every single day for our community. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being a Red Apple recipient. Thank you to the principals and the leaders that nominate you and share with you our, uh, to our community and our school committee members. Uh, we are very, very proud of you. So please stay. We do have some refreshments. Please take one of these beautiful Red Apples. <laughs> And make sure that you get your goodie bags if you already haven't. Thank you for coming. And Lauren, would you like to entertain us a little? <laughs> Yeah, that was great.